This extreme measure is necessary to make Mars livable. Mars has fascinated scientists and space enthusiasts alike for generations. Its barren and hostile environment has sparked many questions about whether humans could survive on this planet. Over the years, there have been many debates about how we can make Mars habitable. But what if we told you that the future of humanity could be on Mars? That's right. Scientists believe that by making Mars habitable, we could create a new home for ourselves, paving the way for an interplanetary civilization. And today, we're going to explore the exciting possibilities of how we can make this a reality. So, buckle up and get ready to take off on a journey to the future of humanity. Don't miss a moment of this video. Watch till the end. Let's dive in. The universe, vast and infinite, hides many secrets that we are still trying to unravel. Amongst these secrets is the possibility of life beyond Earth. For decades, scientists have searched for evidence of life on other planets, and Mars, our closest planetary neighbour, has been the focus of our attention. While Mars has been the subject of numerous missions by space agencies around the world, it remains a barren and lifeless planet. The question that has plagued scientists for years is whether we can make Mars habitable for human life. The idea of colonising Mars has long been a dream for Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, who has stated that his ultimate goal is to make life multi-planetary. Elon Musk's vision of a Martian colony is a lofty one, but the first step towards achieving this goal is to make Mars habitable. The biggest challenge in this regard is that Mars is a cold and barren planet with a thin atmosphere that is mostly composed of carbon dioxide. The planet has a wide temperature range, with temperatures ranging from minus 195 degrees Fahrenheit to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. In order to make Mars habitable, we need to warm it up and thicken its atmosphere. The question then becomes, how can we warm Mars? One proposed solution is to introduce greenhouse gases into Mars' atmosphere. This would help trap the heat and warm the planet. However, the process of introducing greenhouse gases is not a simple one. It would require the release of massive amounts of gases, and it is unclear whether this would be enough to warm up the planet. One possibility is to release fluorocarbons, which are known for their greenhouse properties. Another option is to use genetically engineered plants to produce gases like methane, which could also warm up the planet. Another proposed solution is to launch a series of giant mirrors into orbit around Mars. These mirrors would reflect sunlight onto the planet, helping to warm it up. This idea, while intriguing, is also fraught with challenges. The mirrors would need to be massive, and it is unclear how they would be launched into orbit, or how they would be maintained over time. So, how feasible are these ideas, then? It's hard to say for sure. While they may sound like science fiction, they are backed up by real science. And if anyone can make them reality, it's Elon Musk. In spite of these challenges, Elon Musk remains optimistic about the possibility of warming up Mars. He has stated, If you warm up Mars, you can get a thicker atmosphere. And if you have a thicker atmosphere, you can retain water. And if you can retain water, you can have life. Elon Musk is not the only one who believes in the possibility of making Mars habitable. Other notable figures around the world have also expressed their views on this topic. In a recent interview, Dr. Michio Kaku a theoretical physicist and futurist stated that the idea of terraforming Mars is no longer science fiction. It is now a question of engineering. Dr Robert Zubrin, the founder of the Mars Society, is also a firm believer in the possibility of making Mars habitable. He has proposed a plan called Mars Direct, which would involve sending a series of unmanned missions to Mars to establish a permanent base. These missions would involve manufacturing propellant on the Martian surface using local resources. Dr Zubrin believes that this plan could be implemented within a decade. 
it's clear that there's no shortage of enthusiasm for the idea of warming up Mars and making it more habitable. But the question remains, how can we actually make it happen? At this point, it's still largely a matter of speculation. While there are plenty of ideas on the table, none of them have been proven to be practical or effective. But as Musk himself has said, I think there are a lot of people who love the idea of exploring the universe and becoming a multi-planetary species. And even if it doesn't happen in our lifetime, ultimately, that's what we want as a species. The idea of making Mars habitable is a compelling one. And it's clear that there are many challenges that need to be overcome in order to make it a reality. However, the fact that so many notable figures around the world are discussing this topic is a testament to its importance. In conclusion, the question of how we can warm up Mars is one that has captured the imagination of scientists and space enthusiasts around the world. While there are many challenges that need to be overcome, the fact that so many people are discussing this topic is a sign that we are making progress towards achieving our ultimate goal of making life multi-planetary. As Elon Musk has said, I think there is a strong humanitarian argument for making life multi-planetary. In order to safeguard the existence of humanity in the event of something catastrophic were to happen. In the end, it's up to us to decide whether or not we want to take on the challenge of warming up Mars. It may be a daunting task, but if we can accomplish it, the rewards could be immeasurable. Other measures. Another step in making Mars habitable is to address its lack of atmosphere. Mars has a thin atmosphere, with only 1% of the Earth's atmospheric pressure. This means that there is no protection from cosmic radiation, and the surface is exposed to harmful ultraviolet radiation. To address this problem, scientists have proposed the creation of an artificial magnetic field around Mars. This magnetic field could be generated by placing a large magnetic dipole at a special location between Mars and the Sun. This would protect the planet from cosmic radiation and help it retain the atmosphere. Another challenge that must be addressed is the lack of water on Mars. Water is essential for human life, and without it, humans cannot survive. One solution to this problem is to melt the polar ice caps on Mars. The ice caps contain a significant amount of water, and melting them could create a substantial water source for humans on Mars. The challenge with this approach is that it would require a significant amount of energy to melt the ice caps, and the resulting water would need to be purified before it could be used. Another proposed solution for the water problem is to create a system for extracting water from the Martian soil. The Martian soil contains water in the form of hydrated minerals. By heating the soil, the water could be released and collected for use. This approach would require a significant amount of energy, but it could be a viable solution for providing a water source on Mars. One of the most significant challenges in making Mars habitable is the lack of a magnetic field. Earth's magnetic field protects us from harmful solar winds and cosmic radiation. Without a magnetic field, humans on Mars would be exposed to deadly levels of radiation. To address this problem, scientists have proposed the creation of a series of magnetic shields around the planet. These shields would be placed in strategic locations around Mars and would provide protection from harmful radiation. Another proposed solution for creating a magnetic field on Mars is to place a series of small superconducting magnets on the planet's surface. These magnets could be powered by solar panels and would create a localised magnetic field around the planet's surface. In conclusion, making Mars habitable is a daunting challenge that requires the development of new technologies and a significant amount of resources. While there are many proposed solutions to the problems facing Mars, each solution comes with its own set of challenges. However, with determination and innovative thinking, it is possible that humans could one day thrive on Mars. The exploration and eventual colonisation of Mars could be the next great chapter in human history. 
a testament to our ability to overcome incredible challenges and achieve the impossible. The journey to make Mars habitable has just begun, and we can't wait to see what the future holds. One thing is for sure, we will continue to explore and discover the unknown, and we hope you'll join us for the next adventure. Like this video and hit the subscription button to stay updated with insightful videos like this about Mars exploration. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.